my entire PC at home is in the palm of my hand using my cell phone. Today's video is gonna be on the Chrome Remote Desktop, which is compatible with iPhone and Android. Jumping straight to it, let's get to the app. You wanna download Chrome Remote Desktop. As you can see, it's already downloaded. And for Android, you can see it right there. Press open. So whether you have an iPhone or an Android device, you'll be able to do this exact thing. So on your desktop, you wanna open up Google Chrome, type in or say, Google Remote Desktop. Or in that case, a <laughs> Chrome Remote. Clicking onto it, it'll be an extension. Let's say Chrome Remote Desktop, and I'll just launch the app. Now we have Chrome Remote Desktop. Chrome Remote Desktop allows you to securely share your computer over the web. Share this computer for another user to see and control, which means someone else can go through your files. It, obviously, you're giving them access, and you can stop it at any time. Share your screen. You click in onto it. It'll generate an access code, and this is a one-time code that they get to use. So in that case, they'll be able to move my mouse and go through my files and help me go through things. Now, if I want to access their computer, then I type in that code. This is what they would see if I was doing the sharing. So you get the vice versa. And now we have my computers. I only have one computer, so this is the only one that I have. You may securely access this computer using Chrome Remote Desktop, which is the application I'm about to show you. You can configure, you can view edit. You can see my Nexus 6P was allowed. I'll just delete that, I don't need it anymore. So now that is no longer there, I can allow certain different phones to access it. So right now we have only one pairing of the Pixel. Now the iPhone has never been paired, I wanted to do this here live. And then we'll get this authenticate to host. Please enter your PIN for the remote computer. We're gonna have do not ask again. And on the computer, you enter the pin that you created. And then you're signed in just like that. Of course, you can go full widescreen as well and navigate through here. You can even bring up the keyboard and start typing things if you need. And if you don't want to use it anymore, just tap it again and you go back into your mouse. So this is going to be perfect for the people who want to navigate their computers if they leave them on away from home. I'm going to record this session here. So now you can see on the right, I'm going to open up my computer. You see new TCL and my computer brought up that I am signed in. So on my phone right here, full screen, and you can see right here, this is my entire phone going through. I'm literally seeing exactly what this cursor is moving. It's almost perfect as a mouse. So now I can just click on Google Chrome, my YouTube channel, and let's enable dark mode. And that's all done here on my phone. And I don't even have to be sitting here next to my computer. I can be all the way in New York. I'm in Oregon. I can be on my own internet data through T-Mobile or on the Wi-Fi. It works the same. And I say it works the same for me because I really have really fast speed with T-Mobile Unlimited. So you don't need the fastest speeds to be able to navigate and do things on your phone controlling your computer. But the faster the better, obviously. When I have to leave or I go to work and I didn't have time. So if I were to be away from home, I would click on the upload, click on files to select, and then I'd be able to select the files and videos I needed to do. And luckily you left your computer on and you can control everything and upload it from there. And then we can do stop sharing screen. As long as you have Google Chrome browser, you'll be able to control your whole entire PC away from your house, which is amazing. Yes, Microsoft has their own remote desktop app, but I love using everything through my Google account. So yeah, that's how Chrome remote desktop works. iPhone, Android, this is Google Pixel, everyone knows the iPhone 7. Definitely worth a try for those people who need that convenience of being away from home. It's a no brainer, it's awesome, go do it to it. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later. Pro tip to not get your tips of your fingers, like this, don't eat red hot flaming Cheetos before a video.